All right, here we are live on the Wisconsin Hill at Brandy Rock. And I got something I've been wanting to find for quite a while now. It's just, it seems like I'm digging a whole coat of buttons. So far, I've gotten one. How many's in there? Two, three. You can see some of this is actually the fabric from the coat. And I got four four and five the fifth one busted I still got some signals in the hole so I wanted to start filming I'll show you what I got find the pin for there we go that makes button number six Get it to where you can see it. She's that one's pretty crusty. I have to clean that one up later. And that one also has some fabric. You can see it hanging off of it. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> it's still going. James, you want to hold the camera? You don't mind? You ain't got a narrate. <laughs> got it? Yep. It ought to be real close, if not out. dark color down there too it's got a little bit of color there oh oh yeah look at that i see more under it look at that fabric that's badass wow there's still more down there too general service look at that fabric that is so cool all right put that on the pile Oh, dude, I cannot believe this. How many more should there be? It's a nine button. You're up to eight, aren't you? Or seven? I, I, I can't even remember, to be honest. Seven, maybe? On the standard shell jacket, it was nine. Seven or nine, you've already got seven. Still filming? Yeah. It'd be nice if you had a Confederate button on there. You can always dream, right? There we go. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, it's cool, man. Get a close up of that puppy down in there. There you go. That's good right there. Look at that. Ain't that something? It's got some fabric too. Another nice. That is, it's pretty eagle. You see it on there? Yeah, it's good. All right. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Uh huh. Are you serious? <laughs> it's cool, Barry. This is cool. And by the way, everybody, all viewers, the person filming. There it is. There it is. Got himself a nice button earlier as well. Tell him, James. Got me a script eye. Nice. You see where you Yeah, it's right there underneath the pimple. You sure about that? No. That looked like it. <laughs> My fault. My eyes playing tricks on I thought it was just so good. That 
wish I would have started filming from the beginning, though. Uh, there's fabric. Look at that. That's just a piece of fabric. Yeah, man, you got the whole coat in here. You can see the fibers and everything. Isn't that something? Let's hope it's a frock coat that we'll have about 20 buttons. <laughs> I like your, I like your thinking. Because this would be number nine, so if it's a shell jacket, you won't, shouldn't have any more. Oh, I see. See that green? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's more than one side by side. It might as well be. This one's a little banged up. I'll take it. General service, there we go. Yeah. Cool beans, cool beans, yep. Yeah. All right, I just found button number 10, which is here and it still has a whole lot of fabric on it. I'm gonna treat that one gingerly. Keep that in the case. And I got another signal now. I'm gonna hand the camera off and get her out. Rock. Uh, that one busted too, didn't it? Well, what left of it? Number eleven. Getting it, buddy. Oh, what's that? What is that? Another butt. That's James. more of the uniform. Dang, come of here. Uniform. That's like sandwiched in between it. Let's peel that back hole. for the camera. That That's was cool. whole. Let's see what you got there, Senor. Oh, that's beautiful. What'd you find on a plate? Yeah. Just a Confederate plate? Mm-hmm. Georgia. Go ahead and snipe it. Snipe the film. Pull it up. I'm not. Snipe the film. Do, Do your it. thing. Do it. How many have you gotten since I've walked away? Two more. That's, that's a frock coat. He's getting ready to pull number 13. And this is what I wish was in the bottom of the hole, folks. Oh, U.S. plate? Put that thing in the front of that camera real quick. Where'd you get that? In here? In this field? Is that on there, Jimmy? Was mm -hmm. it deep? Dug by it. Jimmy Judy, VA digging 41 in a hut. Uh, about three foot. In a pit? Yep. The only way you're going to find them in here. I thought I had a... You got more buttons in there? Yeah. You want camera, by the way. Just let me know. I'm sorry. No, you're good. In case you weren't comfortable with it. He just doesn't want us to say stuff like berry buttercup. <laughs> Is that another one? Yeah. Isn't that cool, the uniform, how it just literally... Man, they're all crossed right there. It's because it's uh, you got most of the uniform down there. Yeah, it's all wrapped up. All that organic. Yeah, it wasn't a whole coat of Confederate buttons. Jeez. Well, y'all are in my spot, you gotta leave. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm heading to the right. There's another one, and that one looks busted. 14. I think I see another one. Yeah, I'm back at it up here on the Wisconsin Hill this morning. This is the view. From where I'm at right now, we've pounded this hillside. It's still amazing, the finds that are coming out all along this area. But I'm gonna have to do the filming myself this morning, finish it up on this coat of buttons or multiple coats, I don't know. So I'm gonna do the best I can as far as filming goes. But I've got another signal, I'm almost to. 
I'll get this one on video. Mm, that looks like a hint of green right there. That's what she is. Looks like it might be busted though. That's whole. It's actually pretty good, good shape considering this hole. Bodies were telling me <clears throat> a lot of times when you find whole coats with the fabric and stuff still on it, it tends to eat away at the buttons. Try to get that thing in focus, but I'll take it. That's number 15, I believe. Oh wow. Another general service kind of busted up. Looks like it's about to blow up. Shanks intact. Also it looks like some fabric still in the hole too. With a little luck, it'll keep going. So that makes 16 buttons so far out of this hole. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Mm, this one did not survive. Looks like it's busted already. Just by the pressure of me moving stuff around. It's a shame. All right, back in the same hole where I got this whole horde of buttons, a couple coats, one coat, I don't know how many, but I started widening the hole towards me. And we don't know what in the world's going on here, but we have dug, John, you say these are friction primers for sure, right? Yeah. Anyways, it's stuck in there, but it's a couple of friction primers fused together. There's more down in the hole. Let me grab the knife and point them out. Right at the tip there. Now watch this. Pinpointer doesn't even read it. But regardless, they're coming out. But we find that pretty amazing that it won't even... uh. Go off, not even with the mine lab going over top of it. Look at that. Look how perfect, look, yeah, look how perfectly stacked they are. Yeah, there's a whole box up and they still got the powder. <laughs> how cool was that, man? Make sure you get the Garrett name with the pinpointer is not finding that. Yeah, come on, Garrett. How about you, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I love that pro corner. I can't yeah, knock it. All right, it is the first time I turned on the detector in quite a while, and I got a nice low tone back in the little cubby hole there. And what I just pulled out, I have no idea what it is. But that is solid lead. It's hollowed up top going through I don't know how far it goes down I mean as you can see it's one long tube and right there they got it wrapped around it I have no clue what that is but needless to say I thought that was a plate maybe that one's still down in there all right I'm back in the old standby field 
I'm in the historic bean field at Brandy Rock. Same field that I dug the uh, 12 pound solid shot uh, at the hunt in November. Uh, so I came back to a little area right down the hill where I got a bunch of stuff. I guess it was off a of Kepi hat, you know, the Kepi buckles, etc. So I just wanted to come back and see if I missed anything. And lo and behold, got a very nice signal pulling it out of the pouch now. Pulled it out, saw just the back, assumed it was Confederate, went over to the boys, started rubbing on it. And we watched it come through. It's a Palmetto Guard South Carolina button. Probably pretty hard to make out, but it has a C on one side and try to get that in focus for you. And an S on the other side of the tree. Pretty solid shape. I'm not sure how I'm going to clean it up yet, but as of now, I'm happy as it is. So, sure makes my hunt. Back to one. Day three. After the picnic, uh, Jimmy Judy here, VA digging 41. <laughs> Goofball. He dug a, uh, a sword out of this pit. We knew we're kind of up against the wall as far as time goes. And it's a monstrous pit. We don't know what it is. Trash pit, latrine, or whatever. We've been working it, trying to find some glass. And Tony Cook here is about to pull his first bottle. Looks like a whole clay inkwell right there. All right, Tony, do the honors. Is it whole? Yes, it is. Yeah, buddy. She's pretty. That's what I'm talking about, man. Congrats. Yeah, rub that dirt off of it. Okay. It's nice. The lip's nice. What do you think? Happy? Yeah, yeah damn right. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, smile for the camera. Cook. Hold it up. First bottle, VIV. Good looking out, Jimmy. 